Welcome to Sanctum Asylum. I am Keyless, and we are playing Grimshade. So on the last episode, it took us quite some time, but we finally defeated the enemies that were in the printing press room. Um, I don't believe we can go back to the tavern right now. We have to go outside and fight some uh, umbrages. So we're going to use a, a medical supply pack, and we're going to head out. And we're just going to see what happens, I guess. Ooh, I should have gone upstairs first just to make sure. Eh, it's okay. Let's see what's out here. Now we've got two characters right now that have debuffs. Um, Kiba and Alistair. Yeah, that's not good. They are really roaming the streets here. That's, that's pretty terrible. Oh no! One hit! There are too many of them! Now what? We can't take all of them. Careful, boy. Stay behind us. Looks like we've got their attention. Yeah, we had a feeling there was going to be a fight. Um, I'm not in a terrible position here. Doesn't look like... Yeah, he's got some bad debuffs. Um, but this looks very similar to a, <clears throat> a fight that we just had so we're gonna pretty much play it the same way um i think he goes all the way over here and that's fine and we should we shouldn't have too much trouble i don't believe so let's go ahead and make sure we've got everything that we want to have <clears throat> part of time part of time um i mean i don't really care that's fine Let's give it a go. They get a massive amount of turns. That's my biggest concern. Is if I can't control this battle because they get too many turns, that's where I'm going to lose. But we're going to assume that that's not going to be a terrible problem. Even though it probably is. Okay, we'll start off with this one because we can kill him right now. And then... Here comes the problem. They get a whole bunch of turns. And this one's going to recover now. That's not good. And that's really bad. That's always really bad. But it's actually something that... Let me zoom out here so that you can see him. I can move him, but the problem is then he's not going to be behind Alistair. Um, oops, I can't use that again. Let's just go ahead and make sure he doesn't get another turn for a while. Yeah, and he can't do anything because... I can move him over, but I don't think this is going to work out too well for us. Nope, it's not going to matter, it looks like. So let's go ahead and snipe this one. We'll give that a try. And there's not much we can do with him. Um, I think what we're going to do is move her up. No, there's nothing we can do. I'll put this on, but it's not going to help. Alright. So he is in a bad position, and he can't use anything. Uh, so, let's see here. We'll just let him die. There's no saving him at this point. And we're gonna move her up. So he can use one more ability. We'll go ahead and try and kill this thing. Not quite, <clears throat> but we did some damage. Yeah, he's gonna take some hits. So we're going to try and blind this one. Is that right? Or we can just kill him. So he is now dead. But she doesn't get another turn for a long time. Let's see here. Yeah, he's going to have to take out these. Kiba is definitely going down. There's nothing we can do to stop that. Oh, but he, it looks like he'll be able to get off his shot. So that is fantastic. 
Down he goes. Oh man, it didn't kill him. Well, this should. Down you go, Umbridge. All right. Oh yeah, and this one's recovering, so we don't we don't want him to do that. Wow, he is really recovering. God. All right. So we're going to have to hit him pretty hard. I don't know why they get so many turns. It's really killing me here. There we go. Alright, so we did win, um, and we only lost Kiba. Where are all the Umbridges coming from? Even if all the champions are dead, something's off. Stop whining, Badger. We need to get to safety. The streets aren't safe. I, uh, I can feel a massive wave of them coming from the upper city. I don't know what you're talking about, but we've got to go. Quickly, to the spicy wind. Uh, jeez. Lots going on here, so we're going to have to fight, I think, a little bit. So... I guess let's use this again. Halt! You can't go there! Seek shelter! Okay, well, so we'll have to go around, I guess. Which means we're going to have more fights, I'm sure. Uh, we can help them. We'll save first, and then we'll try. Can't just let them die. So, let's see. This is actually not going to be a terribly hard fight. I want to put him here. This should be fine. He's going to hit, get hit too much, but I think he'll be able to kill them very quickly. So, wow, look at how many debuffs... Kiba has. He's so messed up right now. That's okay. What can you do? We'll make him useless. Now it's his turn, so he'll be able to do a big old slash here. And then we'll take at least one of them out. Alright, so that's something. Yeah, they're just going to keep slapping the shit out of him. But that's okay. Yeah. And this one's useless. So, we just want to start taking these guys out. No big deal. Yeah, he's going to keep hitting him. <clears throat> and then... Well, actually, let's see what this will do. <laughs> Yeah, it's only 10. Only 10 points. So, not great. Oh, this should kill him. I was wrong. Why did that not kill him? What are you... What are you... Oh, he's trying to recover, I see. Okay. So let's make sure this one dies. Excellent. And we will use this, the scythe... That's about all he can do. Yep, and he's just gonna start tearing people up. And there's just no way to take these... Huh. I don't know why I did that, that was kinda silly. Uh, he's got six health, damn! Alright, we're gonna have to hit this guy big, but we won't be able to, so... We'll just do what we can, I guess. I don't think she'll be able to kill this guy, but she'll be able to do enough damage. Wow! Let's just try and finish this guy off. Dead. So we actually didn't, uh, didn't have any casualties. I say that. It's not quite over. Okay, we had no casualties. That's fantastic. We did so good. And we got some dark crystals. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. I thought we were done for. It's no big deal. We're just glad to help. This place is crawling with umbridges. We can't possibly hope to help everyone. Our only option is to take shelter and hope the constabulary 
can handle it on their own. Okay, well, they're telling me not to help everybody. Oh, text box. <laughs> I guess we forgot to put something in there, boys. That's all right. So let's try and head around. <clears throat> we'll see if there's any more resistance. I hope there's not because... I have not healed my team. Let's see, what am I what am I thinking here? What do I want to do? I want to save. Yeah, we're gonna have another fight. Uh oh, what the hell? Player. The streets. Tristan said something about acolytes. Let's go ask how to find Gorsk. Wait, don't! Okay, so he said don't, and yet Alistair still is. Excuse me, we need to find Gorsk. Can you tell us how to get to him? The boy's a little dim, no? Clear the streets. Excuse me, I did ask a question. Lay off the kid, Ruby. You've been harassing the poor lad ever since you forced your way into coming with us. Alistair is straightforward, but he's got kindness in his heart and light in his thoughts. Clear the streets. Stop repeating the same thing over and over again. Those light thoughts of his will lead him down a dark path. Mark my words. Oh shit. Great. Are you okay, Alistair? Yes. Yes, I think I'm fine. I've never seen them do anything like that before. Hmm. A dead body or something caged? Darkness take you sideways till the seas dry out. My tech! Charlie, I have to split. I'll find you when things calm down around here. Take care of yourself, Kiba. And keep an eye on these two. Kiss is handsome. Okay, that's not good. Clear the streets. I'll show this old oaf to cross the champion. Whoa, hold on now, kid. We have no idea what we're dealing with. We shouldn't go. We shouldn't get on the orders, or the city guards for that matter. Bad side, until we know what we're dealing with. I suggest we leave things to get worse. I suggest we leave before things get worse. There's so much chaos around, it's unlikely we can do anything useful right now. Let's head for shelter in the tavern for now. Hmm. Okay. Oh, nice. A cutscene. We haven't seen one of these in a while. Okay, so they're taking over, man. Too many, too many. So I think there's something in that cask that those uh, alkalites were carrying that's drawing them in. I can I can only surmise. I, I don't know. Yep, because here's the alkalites. They don't seem to be terribly powerful. Probably in groups they are. But when I fought one, it wasn't too difficult. Grimshade. Special character skills of the ether operators can be improved with matching ether crystals. Yeah, I haven't been doing that because I don't have that many. What was that? I've never seen the Alkalites do anything like that before. Oh, or Waru. We're simply Lores. We can't afford to get mixed up in this unsavory business. War is terrible. This ain't no war, woman. First Best Pierre, then the Umbridge. And now, or Alkalites? A mess, that's what this is. Please, calm down, friends. Gorsk Persia, the head of the order, has always been a loyal consular to His Majesty King Einham. The Alkalites are, no doubt, assisting the army in driving the enemy out of the city. It says in the papers. What papers, Dorian? Have you gone senile? You've been sitting there with that same piece of rag two days straight, you old buffoon. 
And who's to say that Wilhelm is thinking, no one's seen the recluse in years. Don't you dare cast aspirations on our king. I I'm sorry, mice. I'm not sure what came over me. Gentlemen, ladies, please calm yourselves. It seems to me we are safe for the moment, at least. Wawaru, drinks on the house for our guests, if you would be so kind. Sure, no problem, Charlie. As you say. Have you already decided on a new line of work once the tavern goes bust? <laughs> All right. Alistair, my boy, are you all right? I don't know, Charlie. I feel like I'm drowning in all of this. All these years, the champions have been keeping such a terrible secret. My father, he lied to me, Charlie. My whole life. I was prevented from undertaking the initiation. This must have been his doing, just so he could keep mother and me in the dark. Alistair, please don't talk about your father like that. I knew him better than anyone else. He would never do anything to hurt you. Did you know about this, Charlie? If you were so close, he must have told you something. Are you hiding something from me too? Everyone has their own secrets to keep, my boy. But I have nothing to do with this one. Your father must have had good reason. I've heard enough. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Mr. Charlie, will Al Alistair be okay? I hope so, Kiba. He is young and strong-willed, but a heavy burden has been placed on his shoulders. Did Steven really never tell you about the way champions died? He must have known. No, Kiba. He never said anything. I can only assume that he really did have something to do with Alistair's failing to be selected for the champion initiation. He must have been protecting his only son from falling to the same fate. We weren't able to save Tristan. It looks like all we've lost the trail, Mr. Charlie. What do we do now? Sleep, my young friend. We go to sleep. All of us are exhausted. It was a long day. We'll assess the situation in the morning and decide what to do next. Fair enough. Time for some shut-eye. <sighs> They're following me. All these echoes of other people's thoughts and visions are lives in yellow pants. They're tearing me apart. I can't take it anymore. I need to gather my strength and find out what's happening to me. Am I strong enough to do it? I'm all alone. No, I need to try. Seek help. Okay, so I'm, I'm alone. That's not good. It's not exactly my strongest character. Oh, it's dark. Uh-oh. Well, that's not good. Oh, shit. Who are you? Why are you following me? Even when the other people around, Alistair, Charlie, other people, you're always in my mind. You whisper decisions to me. Words, you speak to the others with my voice. Who are you? Who have I become? Who was I? Huh, there's a there's a place here. Well, it seems there's only one way to find out. This is all just a dream, right? Right? All right, so this leads to the sewers. Hmm, did not know this. Oh, interesting. This is all very strange, Charlie. I feel the boy's power, and its nature concerns me. He seems like a good kid. But his powers aren't anything like I've ever seen before. Certainly nothing like the Lambid Mothers possess. Ruby, dear, we have company. You stupid old badger, I forgot to close the hatch. You came down last, Ruby. So don't blame this Elore. Uncle Charlie? Ruby? What are you doing here? What is this place? Well, clearly it's a hideout. This is our secret place, young man. So don't tell anyone. Even your cute little friend Alistair. This is where we talk. Discuss our business rivalry. Play card games and drink, uh... Tayan! Not alcohol, just Tayan. 
Well, and sometimes Guar, like today, but mostly Tayan. Someday today, huh, kid? But what brought you here, sweetheart? I was woken up by some someone howling, and then I had visions of dead people. You had a nightmare, dear. That's awful. Oh, you poor dear, don't worry. Ruby's gonna take care of you. But tell me, your powers... Where did you learn to do that? I wish I knew myself. If Gorsk and the other in the Order have technologies that allow them to manipulate Dark Ether, maybe they're involved somehow. But why do I keep dreaming that he took something from me? And why am I able to use Ether of Light? You're just full of mysteries, aren't you, boy? Don't worry. We'll figure things out sooner or later. Don't stand in the doorway. Come on in. Sit. Good company is a surefire remedy for nightmares. It doesn't always help to lead to the truth, but it does help, nonetheless. Oh, okay, so we skipped aspect of consciousness? What was that? So we got a new ability, I think. So much has happened, and I feel like I'm on the right path. The best Pierre attack, Umbridge flooding the streets of Bran. The Order's strange conduct? Gorsk. I'm lucky to find myself in the company of people who will come to the aid of total stranger. They are strong and competent warriors. They can help me find the answers I seek. Since it seems like our goals align, maybe I can help them too. Okay. So let's see if we did get a new ability. Yep. Makes character immune to darkness for three actions. Foes which attacks this character in melee range receives fear status. Hmm, interesting. That could be really good. Oh, oh, and this one is makes character immune to light for three actions. Foes which attacks this character get blind. I don't think I've run into anything that uses uh, light yet. Okay, so we're done. All right, here we go. So what are we supposed to do from here, I wonder? Have you gentlemen heard? The alchemists have officially declared victory over Bespierre. Yesterday, after the massacre on the Market Square, the Bespierre got what they had coming. How could that be? There weren't any Bespierre soldiers there, just... Alistair, let's hear every version. So then... The Bespierre army has been completely expelled from Bran. Is that right, Mr. Dorian? Not completely. The morning papers say that what's left of the army is entrenched in the lower quarters. And that's why Lambert mothers are in no hurry to send refugees back to their homes. But the alchemists have shown their true power. Now no one will dare to take on Bran. It's too bad that everyone forgot about the valor of the champions so quickly. They defended the city for so many years, but as soon as something big came along, no one cared anymore. The people of Bran have gotten sick of the Umbridge attacks and their difficult life. It's no surprise that they want something better. I'm sure that they'll erect a monument to the champions in, on Victory Road in the Upper Bran. Yes, they'll find an explanation and praise. Ungrateful city darkness, take it. Be quiet, Alistair. You may be wrong. If the Order is keeping quiet about the Umbridges, the problem could still exist. Has anyone seen Ruby? I was wondering what happened to her, too. Yesterday, the Grande... Grande Dame left us somewhat suddenly. What's this, my boy? Have you taken a shine to that bandit? <laughs> she is kind of cute. I don't know. She's pretty, but such a handful. And you hid that you knew her from me. I thought Wins was your sworn enemy and some kind of bandit. And a man. Well, she is a bandit, Alistair. Be careful with her. She's not as simple as she may seem. No one can say what strange thoughts are in that pretty head of hers. Let's go into the city and see the effects of last night's event. To be honest, my head aches from all this. Those are the effects I can see. 
Okay, so we can go back down here. Maybe there's something I can loot, take. It's worth checking, but no. Oh, wait. I can only look at it. Ah, quite a bit of stuff. Gold. Barrels emanate sharp but pleasant aroma. It's sun-dried keek berries. They are used to make guar. Right on. So nothing in the walls or anything, right? We're not missing anything? Not that I can notice. That is unfortunate. It's hoping for some equipment or something. Okay, anything more Waru has to say? You look good, kid. What do you need from me? Is there something on your mind? How has business been since the Bespierre invasion? Nothing has changed here, child. We're a dying race, and they don't pay much attention to us. Yeah, I think I've already... Yeah. So we've got two spellings of Wawaru. One with two O's and one with a U. Should probably decide on which one. So if we leave, do we take Alistair? Yes, we are. So we've got Alistair and Charlie with us. Ah, here's uh, Wins. Good, good. Ruby, did you find something? Why'd you leave so suddenly yesterday? Find something? I found my house in ruins. Badger, no. Look at this. The alchemist's darkness take them. Destroyed the da dragon's tick. The dragon's tick is in ruins. No tick. I feel sick. It's all your dark champion. Curse him. I'm sorry about what happened to your place, Ruby. It's awful. But the champions... Seems like they're already cursed. And we're going to do something about it. The Order of Alchemists will pay for what they've done. Nothing would have happened if it weren't for their experiments. And for what? To defend Bran? From what? From the attacking monsters that the alchemists themselves created. Keep it down, boy. No one is happy about the situation, but Bespierre would have cut through Bran like butter if it weren't for the alchemists and their technology. Bespierre is certain it's doing good. If it weren't for the alchemists, maybe Bespierre would have never attacked. These dark beasts will pay. I know what you're looking for a way to the order, so I'm going with you. There and back, with all of my light, I dream of giving them what they have coming. But there's no one we can ask about it. Where are we going to find another champion? It's not very likely that another one is even alive. Perhaps we should ask the Lambent Mothers. There isn't much hope that one of them would know where the alchemists get the light either for, for them. But we have to try. That's a revolting idea, Badger. The higher-ups are all blind. Literally and figuratively. And the young ones won't know a thing. And we won't get to the head of Eterna Winterstone. And I wouldn't want to. I've got old scores to settle with that circus. Yeah, that's a sticky situation. Don't sigh like that, soldier. We'll think of something. There hasn't been a problem yet that Ruby Winchester couldn't find a solution to. Alright. What's this? Run for your life, Umbridges! Oh shit. You won't come up with anything better than that, mon cher. Oh shit, these are new. Wow, zombie umbrages. Have they infected people? Devoured! That's one champion less, isn't it? It's like a time bomb. The poor citizens of Bran, have they done something to deserve this? Come on, people need our help! Yes, you have to drive for heroism, cutie. It never fails to surprise me. Alright. So what do we have here? They're relatively... weak. I don't dislike this setup here. So we'll try this. 
But what I'm going to equip instead... Nope, this is perfect. This is exactly what I want. Okay, let's give it a try. Hmm. I don't know if they can throw anything. So instead of using this, we'll just push them back. Because we want them to get close. Yeah, and they are. They definitely are. So we'll take a swing here. Yeah, that did some damage. Actually, let's try that. Um, no, that's the wrong one. That'll protect from light. Okay. So we can kill that one. And then we'll go after this one. So I wonder how hard they hit. That is what I am curious about. Let's try and take this one down. Ooh, that didn't do enough. Alright, let's see how hard they hit. Not too bad. Yeah, and she will retaliate. <clears throat> Actually, this shouldn't be a hard fight. I think they're just introducing new uh, enemies to us. Here, we'll kill this one. Done. And then we shoot this one. Alright. Not in a bad position here. Yeah. So we got introduced to a new enemy. The Devoured came up came from the upper brand. We've got to go there and see what the source of the umbrages was this time. We'll cross that bridge when we come to it. There's no time to lose. Okay, so we can move now. Things are getting worse. Yes, they are. Alright, so... There was one thing I wanted to do. What is this? Broken Champion's Helm. Alistair refuses to part with it. Oh, I can equip it, but I'm not sure what it does. Oh, yes, I am. When Alistair's health drops below 25%, he receives a dark shield. Opposed to this. Okay, we'll try it. So, do we get anything else? Does anybody have anything? No, no. Not at all. And it doesn't look like we can make any more brew for Charlie right now. I mean, I'm sure I could go back and... Oh, that's what I wanted to do. So let's see if we can upgrade his stuff here. I don't know if it does anything until you get to level 2. And I need way more. Yeah, not enough. Not enough of anything. Okay, we'll save and we'll... We'll head up here. Because we're going to Upper Brand now. Okay. So this should take us back to the map. And we'll be able to teleport through the map. Boom, just like that. Oh, man. We are making progress. We are making progress. I like progress. Alright, let's th see what this thing is. Anguazul? Ooh, it's a rams. Got a fascination with those rams. What a mess. What is going on here? Where are they coming from? Why aren't the alkaloids defending the people? Uh-oh. Can we do something before they get killed or... Ah, good. That's fortunate. Uh, we really aren't going to have much trouble with these guys, so... We'll move his timer back. Yes, perfect, perfect. Yep, now they're in range, so I can do this. Good, good. And this will kill this one. We can shoot this one.
Yeah, these these are too easy almost. <laughs> Killed your dumb self, didn't you? So we can attack this one pretty hard. <laughs> Alistair's too far away to do anything. Which is fine, doesn't really matter. And he should be able to pretty much kill him. No, he'll, he'll die. Perfect. Nice and easy battles here. Good. Three dark ether crystals. I like it. Thank you, you saved us. Light be with you. Where did these creatures come from? A huge crowd of people ran out of Commerce Street and these monsters came after them. The fold of the Lambent Mothers. It's over there. Do you think they're connected? Without a doubt, this gang can't just stand by. Why do you think that about the Lambent Mothers? They heal people, meet our lights in life, and accompany them after death. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they make a lot of money doing it. And if you don't pay, they don't pray. And they call the honest fellows of the slum bandits. Ha! Huh. One way or another, we owe you our lives. Fair lady, please take this as a token of our gratitude. Please, help the others. Alright, good. We got something. Treasure! What did we get? Ether device and flower buds. Hmm. Let's see, is this something I can equip or do something with? Or... Negative. What are these things, then? Goods. Equipment? They're not equipment. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what those flowers are. Can't seem to find them. Okay. Well, it is what it is. Let's go over here. Ah, a fountain. Small fountain fills the streets with coolness and freshness of underground springs. Nice. Wow. It's kind of a maze here. Let's head this way. What do we got over here? Oh, another map spot. I don't think we want to go anywhere, though. This will take us nowhere. Okay, so... So if we head up here... Nope. This is a dead end. We cannot go that way. There is an invisible barrier preventing passage. Alright, anything back here? Another manhole cover. Ah, and more of these guys. Is there anything we can get, though? Wavy on. Stay possum. You are feline fine. <laughs> That's cute. Ah, there's even more. So there's a lot going on here. We're going to have to face... More than a few enemies. So let's fight these first. Come at me one at a time. What kind of people attack in groups like this? That's not good sportsmanship. Yeah, I don't, uh... <laughs> uh... Help! <laughs> Poor guy. I'm here to help. Alright, let's kill these things. Nice and easy. <laughs> Yeah, we're just going to go hard on the offense here. I'm not too worried about them uh, doing much damage. There's just not enough of them. And then done. That's the shortest battle I've ever had. Alright, good. Are you alright, soldier? Are you hurt? Thank you. Uh, of course not. If those guys had been honest and attacked one at a time, I would have taken care of them myself, I suppose. But you, oh, oh, a champion. Aren't you the reason this whole thing began? What whole thing? Have you seen a champion recently? No, I haven't seen any myself, but some old tramp told me that he saw a champion dying, and then all of this came out of him. When I was... Little, I saw the funeral of a champion. They buried champion Garuda with honor and fanfare in a special sarcophagus. 
Yeah. Now I understand why they needed this sarcophagus. This is too horrible. You saved my life. And I hope that I will not have to attend your funeral, friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Is it a spear? So let's see, we got a darkened ether crystal. I assume that's for Alistair, yes. So gives three avoidance tokens. So now he has three. Wow, that's kind of maybe too good. That's fantastic. He really is a defender. Okay, so we've got another battle ahead of us right here. And once again, as long as there's four or less, they're not too hard. Soldier of Bran. Kids, hide behind me. Don't put yourselves in danger. As soon as you have the opportunity, run. Oh, what a nice soldier. We'll help him out. I'm no coward. Come on, attack. I'm not afraid of you monsters. Those are no toys. They're dangerous. Take cover. I'm going to defend the women too. You're just a child. See for yourself. I was taught to always defend the innocent, especially ladies. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, Wins is not in a good place then. I want Wins over here. That's fine. Yeah. I think we're gonna be just fine here. So let's go ahead and... put this one's time back. Because I want them to line up for Alistair. So these two will move up. Perfect. Yep, line up for me. And then I'll be able to hit three at once. Boom. And then we'll be able to kill one. I want to let him hit her. Actually, they both can. They have no avoidance, no shields of any kind. They're pretty... Pretty useless. Oh yeah, he's gonna get hit a little bit. I'm okay with that, he's not one of mine. Not in my party. So let's try and take this one down in health a little bit. And then if they attack her, we're in a good place. Yep, perfect. Kill yourself. Throw yourself against my toughest warriors. Here we go. Easy peasy. <clears throat> and we got Charlie here. Alistair's not going to be able to do much. He's not in a good position. Technically. Yeah, but these guys are just no challenge. Now he's got two. Two shields. Very nice. And this guy's not even going to get another turn. I guess we'll shoot at him. I don't know what kind of armor he has. Not great. Not great armor. Alright, let's kill him. Done and done. Good victory. You're a valorous boy. That's the way. A young cavalier, eh? My dear. Yes, ma'am. Give me a sniper rifle and I'll show them what's what. I'm the best shooter in the garden. Wow, who taught you to shoot? The light inside me always knew how. Find me in the city and I'll show you my arsenal. But that's enough talk. <laughs> that's enough, boy. And quit calling me madam. These monsters. May the darkness take them back. Escaped from Commerce Street. They say that there was a horrible massacre at the fold of the Lambent Mothers. Hmm, interesting. The fold. Ruby, what's wrong? Do you have a bad relationship with these people? Huh. I just don't feel well. A bit nauseous. Everything's fine now. My relationship with them is fine. Their relationship to me, on the other hand. To be honest, I don't even know what to call that relationship. Well, 
You're gonna find out. Let's go. Oh, we got an... Uh, okay, so we got... What the hell? Oh, it's a recipe. Interesting. Ruby uses different bombs. Well, let's take a look at this. She can equip it. Ruby throws a special bomb on the cell on her side of the field. It removes any statuses from 3x3 three three cells. Party's over. Time to clean up. Removes statuses. So that must be positive statuses? Negative statuses from us. Huh. We'll try it. Goo. It's something. So. Let's see what's up here. Are we heading to a citadel or... I'm not sure. I'm not really sure where we're going. Streets of all trades. Hold on. Are we seriously going to the Lambent Mothers? Ruby, what's the problem? This is no time for jokes. I'm not joking. I'm against the idea. Their hypocrisy makes me sick. Ruby, we've already come so far and been through so much. You want to leave just because you're feeling sick? Please, Ruby, come with us. We need your help. You'll see for yourselves. Their fold is located smack dab in the center of Commerce Street. Toys, jewelry, cloth, spices, and faith. It's not the perfect place for the Lambent Mothers, the dirty deceivers. They trade in light. Donate and you'll get a medicine that cures all diseases. Well, they have to have some money to live. Of course. And it's a guard dog's job to bite. But it does that without special appetite, at least. Just look at that cathedral. It's massive, luxurious, and soaked in human tears. Yes, and now there's a crowd of people huddled within it who need our help. Let the Lambent Mothers help them. People don't like me. People don't like people like me. I'm just a bandit, and the Lambent Mothers have spit in my face the whole life. My whole life. <laughs> Ruby, you're being facetious, aren't you? Me? Facetious? I don't know the meaning of the word. No, really, what does that mean? But yes, I'm being serious, if that's what you're asking. You picked a bad time to start having qualms, Ruby. All right, I, I see your point. Let's go, we have to get inside the church. Oh, his eyes, huh. Ruby, I thought we would go to the end together. I'm so naive. What, you flatter yourself? Wait, cutie, to the end of what? So are we really leaving her behind? Because she's kind of one of my most valuable players here. I hope that darkness tears you to pieces. There she goes, okay, so she's coming. Okay, so we are in the upper yep so we are going to continue down this path on the next episode so thank you for joining me and i will see you then